Hi there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to our interactive shutter making shutter card making class today. We are going to be making a shutter card that's interactive, and uh, it actually has a real camera image inside, which happens to come from my favorite stamp set ever, Capture the Good. And uh, while you guys are popping on board and uh, getting getting settled and ready for the online class, uh, for those of you who are watching us live, and even those of you who aren't watching us live, I have some of those awesome best stamp set ever to give away. This is the Capture the Good stamp set that I'll be giving four stamp sets away, uh, two following the live and two follow on the replay. Uh, you can leave a comment live or replay, and that one is on February I can't read it it's so small it's uh like two weeks from today <laughs> i usually face space them out two weeks so you have two weeks to watch the replay and leave a comment all you need to do is leave a comment to enter and if you type the word if you share the this video onto social media onto facebook onto youtube onto pinterest and type the word shared into the comments i will enter you a second time into that after live drawing and and for those of you who are new welcome aboard I'm very, very happy to have you. Uh, very happy to have you in our class. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and you won't miss out on my upcoming videos. And I'm talking about this Capture the Good stamp set. The reason why this stamp set is my all time favorite stamp set is because I actually helped Stampin' Up! design this stamp set. Um, this was a stamp set that I designed with a, with Stampin' Up! and uh, I love photography. So I was really excited to be able to combine the, my love of photography with uh, my love of paper crafting, my two favorite things in the world next to my kids. <laughs> and uh, it's, so anywho, this is why this is my very, very favorite stamp set um, in, in the world probably ever. And I'm giving four of these away. So we are going to be making this card that you see right here. This is uh, an interactive shutter card. And I'm going to pop down and show it to you so you can see what we're doing. Um, this original card, in fact, I'll start with this one. This is uh, the original card I got in the mail from Donna Hepburn. She is a demonstrator. In fact, I see you're on here, Donna. She's from Saskatchewan, Canada. I just, I see that she is watching. She sent me this. She had made this at Christmas time. Do you see that? The shutter opens and there's the, the camera and inside is the Merry Christmas greeting. And she was kind enough to send me um, her, a copy of the card that she made at Christmas time. And I absolutely loved it. I could not wait to case this. So I uh, started out with the Birthday Bonanza suite. I, I actually used, I think, the entire suite on this with mine. And I um, she used a little belly band on hers to keep it together. I tied the front of mine to keep it together so it's got a little ribbon on there holds it tight and then when you open and close you've got a shutter that opens and close and he reveals this koala super adorable a koala inside so I'm gonna teach you how to make this one and this one here I have some information on it on the resource page you can click on um, the link in this video to see that as well as download this uh, free PDF which is available on the resource page as well so this free PDF it accompanies the online class and it accompanies all of my, oops, sorry, there we go. All of my online videos have a free PDF and I'm sorry, my printer is not printing awesomely, so I'm sorry this is light, but uh, it's a PDF you can download and print yourself at home or save them on your computer. And it has all the measurements and scoring information for this card. And again, I have these on the resource page of every video I do for you so that you can easily find it and get the information you need. And on the back here, I've shared all of the supplies that I used. But as you can see from Donna's card and my card, you can mix this up and improvise with other stamp sets and products to make this awesome card design for any occasion. And it's super fun because it's interactive. One more thing I want to point out here is that I have a URL that brings you back to this uh, resource page. And in addition, there's a, a smart code here. If you have a smartphone and know how to zap it, um, an iPhone, I think you just turn the camera on and zap it and automatically bring you to this page where the video that we're making right now will live. So you can go back and watch this later. If you're not following along and want to watch the video later, that's how you find it. So we are going to start with um, our stamping. So I'm using the, actually, the entire Birthday Bonanza suite here. It's a super, super sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> it's so adorable. I love the, the the little animals in here and the koala. I'm, I'm a huge koala fan. I love them. I've always loved them since I was a little girl. I love those little clip-on koalas that I used to have when I was little. You know, you just clip them on your shirt and 
you know, you pinch them. You know the ones I'm talking about? Anywho, I was so excited when we had a koala stamp set. So these, this is the Birthday Bonanza Suite. Again, all of these uh, products are available in my online store, but I'm going to show them to you up close um, because this is what I'm using. Again, you can improvise here. So I've got the, it's actually the Birthday Buddies Bundle, which can be purchased together or separately. So it's the stamp set, which is a builder set. So you can stamp these pieces together to build and the dies that match it. And when you look at these dies kind of laid out like this, you can see some of the shapes, but it's really hard to kind of tell what they cut. So I went ahead and I cut them and I cut the, the dies in um, slightly different colors. So you get an idea, like there's, there's three pieces to this lion here. So I, I punched those, I cut those out in different colors so you can see them. And there's some banners, a nice tag and our koala. And there's a party hat and some other things in here in the die set as well. So you can purchase those individually or separately, but they do coordinate together. Also coordinating in uh, our card today is the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. So I'll be using some of this on the card. I'm actually using a couple different designs from this paper. It's 12 by 12 and it's double sided. Very, very fun paper. Party paper for sure because we've got presents and we've got ice cream cones and then there's some patterns and we've got candles over here and then we've got the cute little animals the toucan and the lion and the koala um, on there as well so you I mean you could even switch this out and make this good for um, if you wanted to for you could do toucan you could do the uh, the lion if you wanted to if you wanted to switch it out instead of a koala so we're going to start with our stamping just bringing in a little piece of uh, scrap grid paper here so I'm gonna start by stamping this very cover sheet here. And I'm gonna use some Memento Black ink, and this is Smoky Slate. And again, I have all of the uh, colors on that free PDF. So if you if you didn't catch one, you can you can click over and download that. And, it has, uh, and the resource page also has all the information on it as well. It has all of the products that I'm using. So the words that I'm using here come from the Capture the Good stamp set. I'm going to pull it out in a minute and I'll, uh, I'll share that with you in just a second. Oh, one second. My comments went away. Don't want to lose those. There we go. Okay. I'll back. Just in case you have questions, I don't want to miss them. All right. So we're going to take the koala and we're going to stamp him. We're going to make it like a, a little photo bombing koala up here in the top right hand corner. And he's a builder. So we're stamping his body and then his little koala nose and his little koala eyes are separate so I'm doing those in some memento black ink now I'm going to stamp two koalas I'm going to stamp another koala on some scrap paper here using the same colors this is just scrap whisper white and we'll take his little face and in addition to that I'm just going to come in here with some Daffodil Delight ink and stamp the party hat. So um, I'm going to put these aside for right now. We're going to come back to these. And the last thing I'm going to stamp before we um, jump into cutting out pieces is this camera stamp. My favorite. My favorite. I know I'm totally biased. So this comes from my Capture the Good stamp set. This is um, the set that I designed with Stampin' Up for being a million dollar seller in the company. Actually, I, I <laughs> the ironic part is it came out after I hit the $2 million mark, but it's still a million dollar set and one of my favorites. And I have to share one cute little card. This is like a commercial break, right? Not really, but a little, it's a wicked cute break. Um, I posted this on my blog last week and I created this using the same stamp set and I'm gonna show you how to color the camera just like a, I'm going to color it the same way here. But I punched out the middle here. I stamped these meerkats and colored them with blends and punched them out and stuck it so they're in the in the frame. And then the little meerkats on the photobombing in the back taking the picture. And it says from all of us. Oh, and I just put yellow ink on it too. So now it's got my little thumbprint on it. But super cute idea. The meerkats come from the Gangs All Mirror stamp set, and this is available during celebration. So I also have a link so you can get all the information on that card on my stampwithtammy.com blog if you wanna see more. But uh, the Meerkats come from uh, the celebration catalog, which you can get celebration products free with every $50 you spend in my online store. So if you buy some of these products like Bonanza Body, 
Buddies bundle or anything in my online store, you can pick anything you want free from the Celebration Limited Edition catalog. And also during this time, it's the greatest time to join. If you have a $99 wish list, you want to get this demonstrator kit because it rocks. Absolutely rocks. You get so many free things. Paper pack, mini paper cutter, free stamp set. And then you also get to pick $126. You only pay $99 for all of that. And it's free shipping. Plus you get a discount after that. So it's kind of like a no brainer, right? So we're going to go ahead and stamp that camera onto this piece of white. In fact, I'm going to do it this way. I think that was little. Onto this little piece of white uh, scrap. Teresa's asking if I get to design a new stamp set. Actually, this came out after my $2 million, so I'm calling it the $2 million set. But um, no, you get one stamp set. <laughs> you get to design one stamp set. And I, quite frankly, I don't know how I can outdo this one because this one is, to me, personally, my just the absolute bomb. Okay, so I stamped that in some Memento Black ink, and then we're going to do a little bit of coloring using uh, Stampin' Blends markers. So I've got Smoky Slate here. I'm just going to use Smoky Slate on these, and I've got uh, Dark and Light. Personally, I like to start with the white and um, then blend a little with the darker. These blend really great um, when they're wet. So I like the idea of wetting it with the light and then doing the dark. And I know you're probably looking at this going, what the heck is she doing, right? I'm about to call it, cut this out. So it doesn't matter if I go outside the lines here. So we can go quick and easy. So that's what I'm doing intentionally going outside the lines just because it's quicker and easier. So I'm taking the dark smoky slate and I'm using the actual highlights of the stamp set as a guide for my shading with the dark. And then I just went back with the light and I'm going to blend that in and I'm doing one half and then doing the other half. It goes really quickly when you can do it this way when you're cutting it out, right? I think the only thing Stampin' Up! missed the boat on with this Capture the Good stamp set is they don't have a matching die. Shame on them. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm totally teasing. I love this set so much. Um, so basically that's all I did here. Some very light shading um, with the, the darker smoky slate. And then it didn't matter that I went outside the lines. It actually kind of looks cool, right, when you're looking at it. But it didn't matter that I went outside the lines because I am going to cut this out with the paper snips. So if I can find the paper snips on my table, and I can't, so I'm just going to take my, my old ribbon scissors. And we're going to cut that out. And you know what? I've got a, I've got a treat for you because through the magic of video, ta-da, there it is. I'll cut out. <laughs> I love it when things work that way, right? All right, so the next thing I'm going to cut out is the the cute little uh, koala and party hat that we uh, stamped on here. Now, the Bonanza Buddies has that matching die set that I showed you, so I am going to use that with our die cut machine to cut out these, and it will cut them out perfectly. So this is the, the big shot. I've got a magnetic platform underneath it, and we're going to take the koala outline and the party hat. I, well, actually, maybe I don't really need it on here. Sometimes my plates are, are really old and they've been through the war. Literally, I probably cut like thousands of cards and pieces with them. They last forever, which is great. We do still sell these plates, by the way, if you need them. But oops, the reason why I'm doing this and this party hat doesn't want to stay. The reason why I'm putting the sticky note down over here is because because they're so old. They're a little bit warped and sometimes the magnet doesn't hold them down in place and they shift and I don't want it to shift. Extra protection, but if you didn't have the magnetic platform and just had regular plates, that's what you would use. Lisa Wiley is asking, 
Will Stampin' Up! be coming out with a new die cutting machine. Yes, yes, they are. They are working on that right now. So we've got a party hat. Um, we don't have any further information. I don't have any uh, dates on when it when its arrival will be or anything more other than yes. <laughs> it's coming. That's all I know. So we've got our two little pieces cut out. So the only other thing I want to do here is take the this banner die and cut it out of Daffodil Delight um, cardstock. And I'm going to do two of those since we have it out. And I did pre-do this for you. So um, we're going to use those as part of our inside of our card when we assemble. Alrighty, so next up, next in my little bag of tricks, let's see, we want to start our assembly and I am going to use the new paper cutter for our scoring. So the trick to the shutter card is the scoring. Lenore is asking how do you keep the, the um, cutting pads from, from warping, flip them. Every time you use it, flip it back and forth, and that will keep it from warping. I don't, which is why. Mine are the way they are, but that's totally okay. I don't mind. Like I said, I've cut thousands and thousands of cards. Okay. All right, so um, I've got measurements here on that free PDF, which you can download on my blog. I am going to take the card base here, and I'm going to score in at two and an eighth inch on either side on the long side. So I'm on the long side, so I'm gonna go in two and an eighth inch. Speaking of new tools, do you see what I got here? Two and an eighth inch. I got the new paper cutter. I love it. I just, you know, I felt like I did, I did. I felt like I did two and a quarter, not two and an eighth. You really want two and an eighth because that's gonna fold in at a half. But I'm gonna stop for one second and point out what just happened here. So I've got our brand new paper cutter here. Um, we just released this in November, so it's a couple months old now. You can get blades for it now, too. It comes with two blades. It comes with a cutting blade and a scoring blade, and it is really awesome. Um, it, 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 our old cutting, our old cutter was pretty awesome, too, um, but the new one is even better. The blades are uh, very sturdy and strong. They last. In fact, I've been using these blades since uh, since I got this in November, and I, I actually do want a lot, a lot of uh, cutting with it, so... Anywho, long story short, it's a great paper cutter. I have um, a little article on the resource page that I, I'm sharing here on um, the benefits of this paper cutter and some of the, uh, the top features that it has. And if you're interested, you can check that out on the resource page. So the, the, the lighter gray is the scoring blade. So now I've got two pieces that I've cut for our inside arms. And I cut one slightly longer than the other. And the reason why I did that is because our center is actually gonna be slightly over to one side. So we wanna score these arms at an eighth of an inch. And they are, uh, they're both two and a half inches in height. And you wanna score it on that, the, that two and a half inch side. And then I'm just going to, if I had a bone folder handy, I could burnish that, but I don't, so. Using my fingers. All right, I'm gonna do that with both of these and I'm gonna make sure I do an eighth of an inch, not a quarter of an inch. Like I did with the base. Okay. Char says uh, the, the warping on the plates, do you flip them? If you flip them, you probably won't see warping. If you're like me and don't flip them, you'll see warping. Just because when they get really old and they've been through a lot of cuts, it just naturally happens. But if you keep flipping it, it keeps it flat. Okay. So now I'm going to just fold in our card base. So we've got our card base here and then we've got our arms. Now I'm going to attach the inside piece. Now the inside piece I took from the Koala it's the Koala Designer Series paper that's in this um, pack. And we're actually using both sides of this. So um, on the inside, I'm also going to use this back piece. I'll, I'll pull that out in a minute. So here, um, I just cut out a little. And it didn't matter if it was cut out precisely because um, 
only really his his face is going to show here. You could also stamp it too if you wanted to do that. All right, so the next thing I want to do is um, line everybody up. I'm not, I'm not attaching yet, but I've got everybody in place for when I do attach. But um, let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to um, actually, I'm going to attach the camera first and then I'm going to cut that circle. So I've got this is a one and an, a half inch circle punch and it punches the lens out of that camera. Awesome. Also, um, on that card that I shared with you, that's the that's the, the circle punch that I used to punch out the meerkats to put in the lens there. So many fun ways to use that. Okay, so next up, I'm going to kind of guide where I want that to be. So I can go in from the side, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the camera kind of in the middle. And when Donna uh, designed the original, she's such a genius, right? She just thought, you know, when you hear shutter card, it just seems to make sense that it would have a camera, right? Because the camera has the shutter. So I'm going to take that hole punch and punch that hole out. So it's not exactly in the middle. It's a little bit to the, at the side here, which is why the arms for this particular one, I made two different sizes. If it was exactly in the middle, I would cut those the exact same size. Okay, so now we're going to do a little lining up before we attach. The first thing I'm going to do, and this makes it really easy to line up. I'm going to attach our koala right underneath the camera, right where he's going to be seen. So I'm just, I'm not pressing down until he's exactly where I want him, right about there. So we've got our cute little koala and that's where you're going to see him. And now we've got our arms. So I'm going to cut a little tail, which is going to become our shutter in here. Now I made these arms a little bit longer, um, like wider. Oops, that one didn't quite cut the tail that I wanted. Let's see if I can do that again. There we go. See that? I made it a little bit wider than that. If this is the uh, Taylor Tag Punch. So I just kind of helped it along there with the scissors. Probably two, these are two and a half, two and an eighth inch and probably two inches would make the perfect banner, but I wanted them to be a little bit wider for this particular card. So I just helped it along. So am I in the frame? I'm sorry if I'm not in the frame here. Okay, cutting the banner tear in, tail in here. And I'm just gonna help that one along too. Okay. So next up, I am going to attach, so I'm lining these guys up right where so they're exactly straight with each other and right where they're going to cross over the koala and then i'm going to take some tear tape and attach but this is the easiest way to line up on the card oh thank you jean she says she loves the capture the good stamp set and the videos thank you for that a really nice thing to say i enjoy doing these videos all right, so tear tape is really great because you can just rip it with your hands, right? So you don't need to leave one hand hanging while you go find the scissors. But it's stronger than the usual adhesive, liquid glue, or the snail that I've been using. And when you have an interactive card or a 3D card, you want it to be a little bit stronger. Now the other thing is, I don't know if you can see this, but I, I got a little bit of it over. You don't want it to overhang this lip. You only want it on that little uh, tab there. So I'm just gonna kind of peel it back from there. Otherwise the card will stick to it. Okay, got it. All right, so this is what I found the easiest way to line up. Okay, put them right on the seam. Put the edge right on the seam and close. And then we've got one, whoops. Hmm, try that one again. Okay, there we go. And close. And so we've got one arm here. We're going to do the exact same thing with the other arm. I 
And then we've got our, these are our two shutter pieces for when we open and close. Now one, just one, it doesn't matter which one needs to be above the other one. And then we're gonna put our center piece down. And before I do that, I'm gonna attach these um, banner pieces to it. And then we're gonna put it, and that's gonna hold the arms down. So let's just go ahead and put these guys on. I'm just gonna use some mini glue dots for that. And I'm sticking the, the little banners right to the glue dot here so that I don't have to put it on my fingernail to attach it. So this is gonna kind of swing down below and then the other one is gonna swing up above. <laughs> Make it look so easy. You know what? It really isn't, it isn't difficult. Uh, it just, the scoring is the important part, but you can always come back and watch this video if you get stuck on one part, but it really is this easy. Now the banners overhang just a hair, and the measurement for the center panel is on that free PDF. The camera overhangs a hair too. I'm not, I'm not trimming that. I'm leaving it. Okay, now for this, we want Stampin' Dimensionals to attach. I'm going to put three down here in the bottom. Be careful not to put it anywhere close to where this is going to be because you don't want that to get stuck. But I am going to put three in the bottom to hold it up. And then three here. Cutest card ever. Thanks, Joyce. Ugh. Love it, too. And thanks to Donna. Thanks to Donna Hepburn for uh, this awesome idea. So many fun ways to use that camera. So many fun ways. Okay, so now we're gonna line that up so that the panel is actually gonna be in the middle even though the circle is a little bit off. And then when we open, whoops, I feel like I wanted to cut this one a little bit more because he's not opening. So when we open, we've got a shutter here. Now, I'm just gonna show you how to do a little bit of repair of yours, comes out like mine, and this is not quite coming back as far as I want it to. I'm going to peel it out from there and I'm going to take that, I'm going to cut the tag a little down a little bit more because we want the koala to show. We want his face to show. So there we go. Cut that down. Trim the banners. I don't want to take the whole thing apart to do this. And then I'll just carefully, very carefully, so it doesn't bend, sneak that back underneath. There we go. Okay, so now when you open, you get a little bit more of a koala. I probably want to cut that back a little bit more so you can see his face. But you, you get the idea, right? Okay, so next we're going to finish up the front of our card, and I'm going to show you how uh, I put the ribbon enclosure on. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, attach. We stamped our words here. I'm going to attach that to its frame panel by just using some snail adhesive for that. And then I want to go ahead and stick our koala, our cute little koala guy right here. He's going to pop right off the edge of our card. And I'm going to attach him to, oops, but before I attach him to the card base, let's go ahead and decorate the front. Now I have, uh, I already put the designer series paper on. To, these, uh, to the frame panel here. And I have all the measurements of both the frame and the designer paper for the front on that free PDF. So I'm just gonna, I've got two of those panels for the front. We're just gonna go ahead. Now this, this one, I'm not gonna attach just yet. Actually, you know what? We are gonna attach it. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Let's take Two pieces of this uh, Rauched Daffodil Delight ribbon. Now this is also part of the suite. I told you we were going to use the whole suite. We are going to use the whole suite. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to stick this added we'll added bonus there. Put some snail on that so it stays stuck, and then some snail on the back of our panel that decorates the front that covers that. If you want to use sticky strip there, 
it wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, so next up, these pieces are going to go like this, but I'm not gonna attach them just yet. I'm gonna attach it in just a minute, but first I wanna attach this to the card base and I'm gonna put Stampin' Dimensionals to attach it, but only on half of it. Because if I put them on the whole thing, then the card's gonna be sealed shut. Okay. So then we're gonna line that up right there. So we've got our card opening. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this piece of the second piece of ribbon. I'm going to put a little bit of snail on it. I want to make sure that it's lined up with the one that we just attached there. So the two pieces of ribbon are lined up for when we shut it. Now we can go ahead and attach this piece. I'm just using snail piece of here. Oh, thanks you guys. Lots of love for the shutter card. So our card is basically assembled. All you need to do is tie it here. You can tie it in a little bow to keep it shut. I'm not gonna tie the whole thing right now just because I, I wanna show you a couple other things. So we, we, we gave him a party hat. And the party hat I am going to stick on with a mini, oh, maybe I should tie it, <laughs> it's popping up. I'm gonna put that on with a, a mini Stampin' Dimensional. Let's take this. Take your pick tool and I'm just going to stick a little dimensional on that hat and, and a mini so that it's hidden because that actually is going to pop up here off his head pops up just a hair there so he's got his little hat there and the last piece that I want to stick on here I'm not going to tie that I lied I said I wasn't going to tie it but I am just because let me see the front and then we'll untie it okay these are assorted pom-poms. They are also part of the suite. So cute, right? So I, you could use any of these colors. Any of these colors are gonna look so adorbs on this card. So I'm gonna take those mini glue dots and let's do something different. We'll do our blue one this time. Whoops, come back. Stick that right to the glue dot. And then right on the top of his little hat. So he's got his little party hat there. And that completes our shutter card. So then you would just untie and open. And you've got the shutter. And I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to this one. You, you probably want to cut your little tails, your banner tails, a little bit more than I did on mine, just so that you get you can see it. You can see the the either the greeting or in this case the koala underneath um, when Donna made hers. And I'm gonna bring that one right back out. She put words in there. She put Merry Christmas in hers. All right, and our card is complete, and I hope you loved it. Be sure to leave a comment so you will be entered to win the drawing for, I'm giving away four of those Capture the Good stamp sets. All right, and be sure to download the free PDF on my blog, and don't forget, if you're watching the replay and you share this onto, or, or live, share this onto social media and type the word shared in the comments, I'll enter you a second time into that replay drawing. Thanks for joining me today.